solved. Uh, we here at Chainsys take data migration and actually really all data um, projects and how we can reduce that cut over to only 48 hours. And uh, with with me today, we have Sundu Rathanam. Can you say hello? To uh, hello, everyone. Good, mo good morning and good afternoon. Thanks for joining. Go ahead, Derek. All right, so we're going to go through this at a rapid pace, 30 minutes. There's going to be a lot of time. We will send you uh, more information uh, to get you caught up. And by all means, you can type in questions as we go through. Uh, we'd be happy to answer those today. Or if we don't have time today, we will definitely follow up with you with uh, us and who we are and, and how we've gotten to this point where we can uh, make these kind of claims and, and do this kind of work. First, we're a team of over 800 people uh, worldwide with our center of excellence and uh, in, in today's environment, that's almost a requirement that you have to know the ins and outs of all these different things and systems and just the capabilities to do all these things. So first, we have to meet the business decision-making process to make it smooth. Uh, and the transition to go uh, best case scenario and metrics uh, to meet your requirements of how clean or and the requirements between source and target that can include your customizations and business rules. We have uh, the APIs and many different connections to make that happen. So the right data goes to the right place. Part of our get clean, stay clean uh, model. Uh, more of the stay clean, then uh, we reconcile the data that everyone knows who's touched the data and why it's been accepted or rejected. Uh, at the uh, data owner knows exactly what's going on at the data at any point in time. And that, that's really critical to key to the success of this whole thing, is to have that closing statement to know that it's done. So before I talk a plethora of different connecting points that uh, our application can connect to, um, any, any way that your global system is set up, in today's environment, we recognize that there, or for your own uh, business needs um, in different situations. And that can be done through many different uh, connected methods, whether it's uh, BAPI or APIs, web services, um, and different connections work the best. We can meet those challenges in whatever uh, can get our full list of capabilities and how we've set up the data management solution. We've looked at master data management and how, and then the app this visualization. We have to have that looking for. This can be done from beginning to end. So we have our extract, cleanse, transform, and load. All these with our GUI interface system, the business sees the details that they need to see. And only now here is a very complex um, and profiling, uh, acquiring the data, doing the data quality checks. You, there are a lot of different key opinion people that make this happen, but we're with you at every step of the way. So these are some of the results that we have been able to give to our clients. Uh, we can install and configure. Uh, so we can meet any of those challenges. Whatever data you want to move over, we we can move that over. We can also archive it and just put it in a safe place until it's needed uh, or information. Uh, validation. Any of those different pieces, the way you need your data uh, fixed or transformed, we can make that happen. We have a G uh, within our platform to make that simplistic. So it doesn't get into that production instance. We can all do it outside of it so it doesn't disrupt the flow of your daily work. Finally, we have that UAT uh, to make sure that everything's run. Take us through your process and how what that looks like with our system 
and show them uh, the capabilities. I'd really be great. Presentation here this morning. And uh, thank you again for all the participants joining into the Chainsys uh, webinar today. And uh, which is the uh, data migration, you know, application, App Migrate. So App Migrate, any of your data quality slash data migration, the source application to the target applications. And we work with many major, you know, corporations like GE, Cummins, Caterpillar. Uh, quite a bit. So the main uh, endpoints, if you look at it, there are lots of uh, on-premises, on-premise applications like uh, Oracle, eBusiness Suite. Uh, if I go to the connection over here, you can uh, see this is a hub and spoke architecture. Could also be classified as both source and destination, meaning it can be used for both extract and as well uh, loading purposes. For making the connections, so it's highly secure. So it gives you a peace of mind in terms of how we connect into these applications and uh, maintenance of the data. Again, uh, both in the motion, in motion, and as well, we put lots of you know great features and emphasize on that. Okay, and again, uh, the product which you're seeing is all SAP certified, and all who was on the Salesforce as well. And there are many other, all the other endpoints, we look at power applications, right? Because a lot of uh, transition, like Microsoft is catching up quite a bit with their uh, dynamics, uh, you know, both not just on the CRM, but also on the whole enterprise, you know, region. so we support that as well. And Salesforce always, uh, you know, producing great products. And if you look at uh, the Oracle's uh, Fusion application, so this is uh, rated on the top. If you have noted on the cloud uh, ERP, the Oracle's uh, cloud ERP as well. So we support uh, as of uh, you know uh, endpoint goes. Uh, we have uh, more than 50 plus endpoints which we support today, and then uh, we have a little over 3,000 templates readily available for you to. You know, quickly uh, taken use, right? So for your, uh, so if I look at, uh, let's take a look at some of the extraction uh, objective, how we can extract the data. The raw extraction out of uh, any of your, you know, uh, source environment, so we can connect into one or more sources from an Oracle system, how you can extract an item master data. So if I'm looking at uh, this item master, there are multiple options available for you. I can tag it as a favorite, and there is also sharing privilege. So if you're the owner of a particular object, if uh, you want to give certain privileges for other people in the team to operate, and uh, the role security is another great thing which I like about because uh, when we are working on enterprise wide with multiple people doing different activities. So you need a, a kind of a role-based security in place to take care of all the essential roles each one is going to play. A, the objects are tagged to a particular sprint, so which is a, a test cycle, and uh, which is also, uh, you can see that we have a versioning system, uh, which is going to be every changes audited and it maintains all the revisions and multiple revisions into the repository. So important thing here uh, for you to note, we support both the full refresh, shrink my cutover window. And we have done a cutover in even less than three hours for some of the major, major corporations where there was a heavy time constraint. If you ask me, I would not advise you to do it. You have validation put in place uh, during the cutover. Uh, but if there is a necessity, obviously you need to be able to get it to that kind of a very limited timeline. Uh, but generally, this you know we're talking about 48 hours. So 48 hours for what you do, it is going to be simply impossible to fit everything into that window of 48 hours. So how you can still you know get the system go live within that cutover timeline is going to be we can do historical data 
can be migrated even before the cutover starts. And uh, we can do, during the cutover, we can bring in incremental data in multiple, basically smaller delta sizes, can be brought in in a multi, you can eliminate the overall time it is going to be consuming for your cutover. So it's got uh, various, uh, it's all configurable. You can see it's a UI driven as Terry was pointing out. Also, we put a collaboration in the move for bringing in the business users, the functional team, the technology team, and the administrative PMOs, managers, everybody to be able to play a very important the data quality as well, finding out how we can get clean, you know, kind of making sure, identify all the data issues and fix them in a very early, you know, test to testing with their own data and very, you know, as much of uh, data converted and that too with a very, very good uh, quality. That is the benefit of the, you know, system, what we put together. And here you can see, and uh, it kind of gives me all the, you know, different data. If I want to just uh, download it into an Excel or CSV file format, you could do that. So there is a quite a bit of information available here. So there's so many fields in the adapter, predefined adapter. As I told, we have more than 3,000 uh, plus adapters, and these are getting added on a you know weekly basis, continuously. Almost there is a fitment of close to about 85 percent, or even more than that, depending on you know how how we are you know how customized your shops are. Okay, and you can see the loader also. I'll quickly show you the load object, how it is. Uh, and I'll take an Oracle Cloud object and maybe I can show you an SAP object as well. So let me take one of the loader here. This is again for, uh, you know, an item master, which is kind of one of the most complex uh, object. So if I go to the edit, so you can see it's all configuration and also it's predefined. So whatever configuration you're going to do is on top of uh, the standard adapter, which already you know satisfies all the standard rules and standard validations endpoints, like right? Oracle or SAP or JD words, any other application that you want to go go against. So here, uh, Oracle uh, Cloud has multiple methods that you can use of uh, the FBDI, and you can also use the process methods, which can be either a SOAP service or it can be a REST service. And we also have the changes bots, which is a, if not, then the changes bots uh, plays a significant role to, you know, kind of a do all the data loading, final data loading process through very useful uh, product. So you can see there is a, you know, so many different, I wanted to touch on transformation. It's kind of a very important thing when you're looking at any transformation work, right? So because the systems are completely, you know, very old systems, which might have, uh, you know, quite a lot of transformation that you wanted to apply. So again, transformation is a very, very uh, robust and, uh, you know, uh, engine, which can uh, basically, I can apply rules against any of this reference data you know, like a table query. And if the condition is fulfilled, then what should I do? Or well, what kind of a transformation I want to apply, okay? So this is a beauty because uh, this is going to be a mass uh, validation too. That way, every possible place we wanted to shrink the time. If you want to get to the 48 hours, the timing, the timing is so critical, right? And uh, how much volume of data that we can process with parallel and uh, we are able to process you know, through uh, multiple threads. So we have processed more than billions and billions of records for many laws in the parallel threading and uh, also utilizing the some of the very, very unique uh, technology what we've built over the last 20 years. And we bring in a unique passion and the unique innovation that you need on a day-to-day. Because this is a constantly changing, you know, so much of challenges that's constantly out of the data world, which we are constantly trying to beat. Uh, a bit and then uh, get to questions. So if you look at, uh, when we look at, uh, when we do all the migrations, 
it is going to be there is a run book uh, there is also all the processes in this case i'm taking a procure to pay let's say i'm responsible for procure to pay objects so in this case i am moving data from an uh, uh, oracle system over to here they say sap you know purchase requisitions purchase orders and goods uh, receipt notice grn is also there to look at uh, the middle master all the objects for your uh, you know uh, red amber for your rag reports right so it's all uh, configurable and uh, you want to make sure you know establish proper criteria to get to as much of uh, as you have the audit trail on every single uh, data that you processed so if i go into the actual audit trail it is going to tell me how much of data i processed you know how much of uh, error so it is going to give me you know what is the comparison between the source and the target with all the data successfully you know movable handy for you to operate so here is a success record for example so i've got some uh, you know not able to see the record but i just wanted to shrinking your uh, entire timeline so the objective is to shrink the data migration timeline and to give you a quick wrap up you know we're going to put the cdc change and capture increment it to a you know mass uh, processing bulk processing for your validation for your transformation and we want to ensure that we deploy as much of parallel processing parallel threads to get uh, our process you know run in a absolutely as you know absolutely automated cut over you are able to save a lot of trim a lot of time and bring uh, you know the teams all the teams together so that is very important collaboration very very important and uh, we talked about the security when all of these people are part of it we need to have work done but again the data is secure so with that i just wanted to you know uh, go through a few questions and uh, you know answers and how our clients are getting benefited out of this and really really happy to be uh, part of this uh, webinar thank you again back to you thank you Kevin. so much sindhu thank you thank you thank you. and i just wanted to uh, share our uh, with everyone, uh, our platform has many different differentiators and value adds, uh, and we will connect you uh, with any of those different things. Uh, also wanted to share that we've won many awards with our partners and large clients that they have shown to be a clear differentiator in, in making those things work, work uh, to the best um, possible. And uh, last but not least, uh, here, April 7 through 11. If you are attending, please stop by our booth. We're also going to be at SAP Sapphire. Uh, May, let know what's going on uh, in, in, in your block, in your sphere of what you need to get your data clean and reduced and over, cut over for a migration project, an M&A, whatever the or board. Thank you again so much for joining us today. I look forward to hearing back from you and uh, look for up and coming webinars that we'll be having hosting next month.